Hello and welcome to Miracles of Failure. My name is Marshall and today, welcome to Going Medieval. This game is a RimWorld-esque sort of colony survival game and I wanted to play it for you guys. So, um, that's what I'm going to be doing today. For this game, it's... I kind of got started a little earlier because I wanted to skip forward to the fun part, you know? Um, like the, the cool things in this game. Obviously, I'm not great at it, and I've just been running it on three times speed. But this is my little colony, right? We got a little kill box right here uh, for when raiders come, and then we got another kill box right here for when other raiders come. And because we got put up on a hill. Oh, crap, there's another way in. God damn it. All right, anyways, this is what this game looks like, and I'm super excited for it, and I'm excited to play it. Uh, I'm just, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of it and see how we go. So let's go ahead and boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. I'm just trying to make, make a couple of kill boxes, you know, so we can go ahead and do our thing. And obviously I'm trying to build some houses for the guys. That's these have been my plans for uh as of as of now these have been my uh there and then there and then there this has been my plan is to sort of set up a little small little colony and show you guys how the game is played a little bit um just do a little hello or a ha ha you know you know what i mean just a little wee or whatever um but for this game i think it's a lot like RimWorld, just 3D, which obviously makes it look way better. Um, thing about RimWorld is it's really easy to get disconnected from the game because you got, not only are the pawns not very personable, but they just sort of vibe there, you know? They don't really do much. The pawns themselves are just kind of meh. Whereas in this game, you actually have, like, guys running around. And I'm assuming when they get shot and stuff, shit happens. Uh, which I'm excited for. Tutorial on mood. Food reserves, leisure activities. Has this been done yet? No, it's not. Alright, I want you to chop this tree. Then chop this tree. Then chop this tree. Then chop this tree. Then chop this tree. But, essentially, I just wanted to see how this game played out. Um, and do a little... Not really a let's play i don't know if i'm gonna make a series of this game yet and you guys will let me know if you guys want to see a series for this game if you do um drop a like comment below say hey i want you to make this a series or alternatively tell me to screw off because you don't like this game and you want me to play something else that is perfectly valid however um i thought i'd be interested in this little bit and so far so good I don't know when, you know, attacks happen and stuff. It's all friendly. Enemy forest bandits. That's cool. I didn't see that before. Yeah, I got it. All right. So we're going to work from 7 to 7. 7 to 8. 7 to 6. Right? Not an 11-hour workday, and then you guys can do whatever the hell you want the other time. But I want an 11-hour workday for these guys. They, they need to work hard because... One of these days, the big bads are going to come. And when they do, there ain't going to be no slackers, all right? No slackers in this area. I assume the big bads can come from this way also. So maybe I put down some more wooden walls here. A wooden door. Ooh. Equipment. All right, whatever. All right, so now they all have their own bedrooms. Eight at a table, eight raw food, hungry, deprived, yada yada, etc, etc. Alright, we need to find some more shit to hunt. Is there like a list? You know how in RimWorld you got like a list going on? We're gonna hunt these three deer. And then you guys won't have any issues, right? Nope, still eating raw meat, even though there's a campfire right there. Whatever. 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 Uh, I could probably have been more efficient with this. Let's show our roofs. Just for now. Look at that. The little huts they got here. Little huts they got going on. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cut. Chop all of these. Another bedroom. 
what is this it's inside a bedroom that's good all right and then i'm gonna convert this place can i deconstruct yep and then we're gonna convert this place into a leisure room and on marks graves pyres fences banners that's cool furniture production right that's going to be our room and then i want a production room like right up here as soon as these guys are done building because it takes forever for this stuff to happen okay now you're walled in now every birdie walled in uh oh yeah we're gonna help this guy force bandit attack and we get an archer oh we need this guy all right eric where the hell are you all right i need you to equip this sturdy longbow you're gonna be our next archer we got two archers now are you fucking kidding this is exactly what we needed settlers wounds need tending all right let's go into our jobs right convalesce will always be a one and then you're good at tending so you're gonna be a one there right because i i think that's like a tip-top priority is convalescence and shit i don't know if we have any medicine or whatever i don't know if we need to make medicine oh all right that's one that's another house done let's go ahead and plop down yet another house oh we're gonna need another wall here aren't we crap oh my god look at that the clouds oh dude that looks amazing i love that oh i love that all right let's go ahead and make another bedroom i'm actually kind of running out of space up here wooden door wooden floor Furniture, hay sleeping spot, wooden table, small, wooden stool. Bam. What's wrong with Jeffrey? Bruised? Oh, he's just bruised. All right, that's fine. Oh, look at him limp around. All right, I want cooking as a high priority. You're going to be a one on cooking. Construction, growing, harvesting, tailoring, researching. All right, cooking needs to be a one. Cooking always, in all of these games, cooking needs to be a one. Because without food, they die really, really fast. I think that's raw meat, right? So we should start cooking it on a campfire, I think, right? Or eating it raw, whatever. Yep. Alright. And then roof. Look at this. Look at look at us go. Building little roofs, little huts, little little huts and shit. And then I'm gonna need a workroom right hereabouts. Because I think they get a debuff. If they made this, like, slightly more modern, like this game, if they made it just a little bit more modern, or at least added modding into this so we could have, like, modern day stuff, I think I would fall in love with it. I think this would become my next RimWorld. If, because I, I have sunk hundreds, if not possibly thousands of hours into RimWorld. So if this all of a sudden, you know, got modern and stuff and like added all the modding ability that RimWorld has and so on and so forth, I think I would fall in love with it. Enemies are coming in 13 hours. Y'all better get set. All right, Eric, keep butchering shit. Keep butchering it. What is this, ash? Ooh. Oh, look at them go. See, they're learning how to construct things. All right, I wanna cut down all the trees near us. Not because, oh, 
Wait, does that mean we have the next resource? Nope, we have 12 out of 15 available. Uh, I want to cut all the trees near us just so we have bandits don't really have like a an area to attack us from. And we can sort of vibe safely in here. Oh, come on, Eric. You got this. Be better. All this raw meat. Alright. We need to make this 15. Prioritize cooking. He's got a dislocated shoulder. Oh, God damn, dude. Wait, hold on. Eric's are cooked, yeah? Perfect. More cooking. More cooking is more good. Too bad we can't tame animals. I think it'd be really cool to have a bunch of... A bunch of, like, fucking wolves. These are stew piles. Alright. Now, what's defense mode? What is this? Deconstruct warfare. Oh, dude. You best believe eventually I'm gonna add some stick traps. You think these are like pundy sticks? Like my guys sorta, they put them down and they shit on them? Enemies are coming. All right. All right, drafted, right? They're gonna be attacking from this angle. So, Jeffrey, I want you up here. Nope, up here. Eric, I want you up here. And then Mordred, get over here to hold this line. And you get right here to hold this line as well. Are they not attacking yet? All right, let's actually see if we can get Eric to go down here or over here and see if he can take some pot shots at this guy. Oh. Fire. Fire again. Fire for effect. There we go, last shot. Finish him. Oh. Okay. Run back. Okay, so I do think the control scheme feels kind of wanky. Fire on him. Go ahead and execute him. Fire. Fuck, alright. Oh! Oh. oh, that's cool. This is cool. All right. Come out of draft. All right. Let's see what they got. Clothing, weapons, obviously. All right. I want to allow all of this. drafted to hunt this fucker down. I want you just to hunt him. Look at him bleeding out. He's bleeding out. He's bleeding out. He's bleeding out. Oh, is he gonna escape? He escaped.
Okay. Well, that was cool. I like that. I like that a lot. The combat looks nice, you know? It's got that, once again, it's got that real RimWorld-esque sort of, you know, hit chance, yada yada, etc, etc. Oh, dude, that was wicked. That was awesome. And then we murdered these guys just standing here. Oh, that was nice. Another ivory sword. An ivory sword. Oh, look, these guys are playing little games. What's your mood like? All right, now I think we're gonna need the unmarked graves because I'm guessing they get a negative mood lit from seeing corpses, right? Yep, they do get negative mood lit. It's not difficult, guys. You're just digging a hole. What is he hauling? Eric. Prioritize burial. There we go. Now we got those two out of there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then, of course, once we get this production thing done, we're going to be real happy. Oh, dude, this game's great. We have a region. All right. Is there, like, an attack thing we can do? Uh, region influence. Oh, I'm guessing the more people we get and yada yada, etc., etc., the better off we go, you know? That's another one. There we go. So we got more religion set up for people. And warfare. How is my research coming? 12 out of 15. So I, I kind of like this. This research thing. I think it's I think it's great. I think that system is pretty awesome. Oh. Oh. He's building. Oh, dude. Look at this. Another bedroom. This will be the last bedroom. This will be the workspace. And then I'll add like a dining room over here maybe. Do we have any stew? Roasted meat? We do. Look at that. That's coming up. These walls worked out pretty well. So I think next step is going to be before one, we put down a bunch of spike traps. Oh, are they praying? Are they praying to their weird god? Desperately thirsty. Ale. How do I make ale? Hmm. Assuming it'd be somewhere here? Brewing? Yeah. We do need more research done. Look at him go. Oh, I'm loving this game. All right. So that's where we're going to call it for this one. This game, this game is pretty awesome. Let me know if you guys actually want to see another episode. Um, if you don't, oh, well, I'm still going to keep playing this game. I love it. Uh, if you do, let me know and I'll make sure that the next episode comes out as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did like this video and want to see more. And uh, alternatively, you can hop into our community Discord, which will be posted down below, or our Twitch, and catch us live. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!